Welcome to Sportsman Tech Talk. My name is Jim Isaac. Today we're going to be covering some performance and fuel economy with the Seakeeper ride system. So since the release of the ride system, we've had a few questions and concerns regarding the fuel economy and overall performance of the boats with the ride system installed. The biggest concern is that the Seakeeper ride system is going to create drag limiting your fuel economy and also taking off some of your top end performance. The Seakeeper ride system actuates up and down at a rapid pace, creating less drag than a standard trim tab that you would have to leave in the down position. This actually greatly reduces the drag on the boat and can help with your fuel economy and overall performance. Today we're going to run the boat with the Seakeeper ride system on and the Seakeeper ride system off at the same speeds so that you can see real world numbers of how the system reacts and what the performance is like. We've actually found that running the Seakeeper ride system in choppy and rough conditions can actually improve your fuel economy. Because you're not having to constantly adjust the throttle, prevent the bow from slapping, you can just stay at a consistent RPM and keep a nice comfortable ride. All right, so on this run, we're gonna get up to a cruising speed with the system off. All right, we just finished the first run with the Seakeeper ride system off. We were at 4,000 RPMs cruising speed. We had 11.8 gallons per hour. We had 2.8 miles per gallon. Now we're gonna ride with the Seakeeper ride system on and compare the data. All right, so we just finished running the boat with the Seakeeper ride system on. Same conditions, cruising speed of 4,000 RPMs. Um, we got 11.9 gallons per hour. We got 2.7 miles per gallon. So there was only a slight, slight change in the performance of the boat, but we got a much smoother ride. The next test we're gonna do is run the boat wide open throttle and do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Seakeeper ride system on and the Seakeeper ride system off on your overall top end speed. All right, so we just ran the boat with the Seakeeper ride system off at wide open throttle. Um, we ran 48 miles an hour. We were at 5,800 RPMs. We had 25 gallons per hour and 1.9 miles per gallon. Now we're gonna run the boat with the Seakeeper ride system on and compare the data. We just got done running the boat with the Seakeeper ride system on at wide open throttle, 5,800 RPMs. We were right at 47.8 miles an hour, 248 miles an hour, I was kind of teetering there. Um, 25 gallons per hour, 1.9 miles per gallon, almost the exact same specs. Um, the only difference is you take some of that chatter out. Um, right here it's about one foot at every two seconds on the lake right now so it definitely takes that chatter out at full speed but doesn't hinder your performance numbers at all. Today was a real world comparison to address some of the comments and concerns we've been getting regarding the performance and overall fuel economy with the Seakeeper ride system installed. As you can see with the Seakeeper ride off or on the numbers are about the same. In rougher conditions it can actually help improve your fuel economy. All right if you have any questions or comments please leave them below. Please like and subscribe our YouTube channel We'll see you next time.